there's enough of a Hispanic population that I really ought to know Spanish, but since it wasn't a language I took in school, I, <laughs> I just know little bits and pieces. Yeah. I know how to ask where the bathroom is. <laughs> I know how to say, you know, uh, simple stuff like yes, no, thank you, you're welcome, I'm sorry, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, All right. I just grabbed one of my boxes randomly, so and this one, I uh, we'll see how this deck goes. Okay. Uh. All right. So this is vintage. Uh, and because mm -hmm. I'm T1 Glistener Elf, I'm contractually obligated to play Infect in everything. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> this is Infect. I've got some in here. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Uh, I technically only have one thing, but it, but it compounds. Uh, <laughs> oh, that sounds like proliferate. Uh, well, I have some of that, too. Oh, wow, there's uh, but, a lot going on here, then. <laughs> Yes, this is, uh, I'll just say it's my black-green deck. I, I probably should have... I, so, this is a deck that is, is very strong. I mm -hmm. probably should have played, uh, should have picked a more... I, don't take this the wrong way, I don't mean it that way, like a, a more casual-friendly yeah. deck. Because this is this one is of those, fine. like, built-to-try-hard people. <laughs> Unfortunately, no, no, no. This this deck, I, I'm I'm gonna guess like however many games we play, I'll probably lose the majority of them. I might get like one good one because I know that this deck, because unfortunately, as I said, I just grabbed one of my boxes randomly. Sure. This one's a little um can be a little slower. I can get a great hand, good start, but like as I always say, a lot of my decks uh do okay in single player. They shine in multiplayer oh, when you got okay. that threat that you can't like when you when you're not as when it drives people to be less aggressive they when they can when they can turtle just a little bit it just steamrolls mm. my deck yeah that's interesting mm. i that's i used to have two separate commander decks for that reason there was the 1v1 commander deck and the mm -hmm. pillow uh, not the pillow the multiplayer i'm not yeah. trying to make everyone target me commander deck well the thing is like it's because like a lot of years i was just playing with a group of friends, so it's not. I didn't really have a lot of times of doing individually, so I just aimed for like these decks evolved in that way. Sure. So like you know, if I pulled out my straight infect deck, you know that thing is just like, just mean. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. I know. <laughs> I, I definitely have a couple of decks like that that are just like, well, uh, like if I bring out, uh, I have one deck which is technically not legal oh. because of one reason. And that's because I have a play set of strip mines. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that mm -hmm. would do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it is the only deck I have that is technically not legal. Um, oh, I need... Do I have dice? I have dice right here. Yes, yes. To see who goes first, would you like to roll some dice? Sure. I have a one! <laughs> I left mine in the car. Can you just roll for me, please? Sure. You have a 20. Hey! <laughs> I hope this is a sign of things to come. <laughs> okay, Woo! I'll, I'll, I'm just gonna, I'll just do your life here too, since we're, you know, so you're over, wait, uh, let me put these down, there you go, they got, like, uh, two, let's see, oh, no, it's upside down for you. So yeah, this I'm, is, no, wait. Camera can't see, but I am pulling an Adrian Sullivan here and holding the deck up, or holding everything upside down so that it, it makes sense for you and it makes sense for the camera. But for me, it's going to be upside down. I'm like mirrored, I think. Yeah. Because oh. it looks like... Yeah, let me see here. No, yeah, that, that's upside down. And Whatever that is want. backwards. Can I... I might be able to play with that, though. Are we going to have enough room on your side? Because I, I will, I will make do. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I have made do with smaller areas. Uh... <laughs> All right. Uh, uh -huh. Whenever you're ready, I, I have my seven out. Okay. Uh... By the way, while you're doing that, can you introduce yourself? Of I'm a little yes, embarrassed. Hi. I haven't, I haven't asked you to do that yet. Yes, uh, I am Tantus Naravan Dracovin. Uh, I basically run the Dracovin Empire, both on YouTube and. Twitter. I mean, not Twitter. Twitch. Yes. Excellent. Uh, 
link to your channel in the description below. Go check him out. Yeah. It's more than just MTG. Yeah. It's also D and D, role playing games in general. Mm -hmm. My uh, my my unfortunate extent of a lot of magic things I right now has been discussing a lot of the new stuff uh, on my discussion show, um, just because. Uh, if if you've been to my channel, you, you may have noticed I haven't been doing a lot of uh, heavy edited content because I've had editor's block, I call it. Oh, yeah. So what do you say? Uh, let me take a look here at this hand. Um, I don't know. I can try it. It's not a bad hand. It's just it might be a slow hand, and that might not be good in this situation. So... Uh, I'm, I'll tell you, since I'm going first, I have to decide first, so I will mulligan, if that influences mm -hmm. your decision at all. It's a one land hand, man. I gotta think about this. I don't have anything, unfortunately I didn't draw anything, like, cheap is the problem. Ooh. So, yeah. I have a decent amount of land, but it's just, I can't, I'm gonna just keep it, I'm gonna keep it. Now, um, I... Now, this is something I, I usually do uh, with my friendly games, uh, is I usually give a free mulligan to everybody I play, because I'm friendly. Okay. So it's up to you if you want to take that rule or not. Uh, I know, like, in multiplayer, which I do a lot, you also get a free one, so sure. that's why, like, you know... As long as it's symmetrical, I'm, as long as we both get it, then I'm okay. I'm yes. okay with it. Uh, so, if, you wanted, if you're if you not good, i have offer the free one right now. Alright. So. Well, I appreciate I'm that. I'm not taking it. I, yeah. I do that at F&M, to be honest. If if my opponent and I are both, or not F and M, excuse me. Like when I go over to Tap Start and we're just yeah. playing like the the vintage games that are off tournament, I'm just like if we're mm -hmm. both mulliganing, let's just go back to seven. It makes it more interesting. Yeah. Uh, and I, I will keep. This is this is fun. Let's okay. let's do something. Okay. Let's go. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I would like to first. I will fetch. I have a misty mm -hmm. rainforest. And I would like to mm -hmm. crack that fetch. So mm -hmm. now I'm at 19. Mm -hmm. Go search around. Do I hear daddy? Is... That is probably my niece. It's about time for bed, so. <laughs> yeah, it She's... sure is. Yeah. Oh, she doesn't want to go to bed, I'm thinking. I think because, uh, you know, Grammy's downstairs, and she wants to spend time with Grammy, so Aww. she's being, you know. Unfortunately, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I had it's, I her, it's I call her stream niece. Stream niece likes to be loud. Uh -huh. I'm gonna play a mox pearl. Ah, oh, jeez, wow. Um, I will. I will preordain. Okay. And I will. Let's see. So scry two. Mm -hmm. Um. Just let me just let me know everything you're playing because I I don't have a perfect view of everything you know. Oh, so. sorry. I'm going to put yeah, okay. both of them on the bottom, mm -hmm. and then I'll draw a card, Yep. and then I will play a Gitaxian Probe. I'm going to pay the two life, go to 17 here, okay. to take a look at okay. your hand. Okay, uh, I have a Rupture Spire, Guilt Leaf Palace, Swamp. Oh, wow, I'm playing the wrong thing. I'm sorry, dude. Uh -huh. Oh. Rupture Spire, Guilt Leaf Palace, oh no! Um, and then I have Harvester of Souls, Iberus the Blinding Bane, a Golfing Slagworm, and Hornet Queen. Okay, for next time, I will I will put together my my Infect deck that's like not doing stupid stuff like Mox Pearl, and no, the Mox Pearl is fine. It's just like <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you said, we said vintage, and I. <laughs> The, it, it is, is vintage. Yeah. Yeah, but my hand is a lot of new stuff because you know I I've got the weird combination of everything oh, in this fair hand. Fair enough. All right. Uh, like, well, listen, like you know, uh, a lot of the stuff it's just it was good in this deck, and that's why it ended up in there. Yeah. Because uh, I'm constantly updating these with the new cards that come out as the thing. You know, I don't I don't go. Uh, it's it's rare I go full old school vintage. Ooh, good. Nowadays. Good. I'll pass yeah. turn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's I see actually here. appreciate the way that you play it because it doesn't feel like you're locked into certain choices. You can just kind of play what's most fun. And mm -hmm. I remember those good old days. <laughs> uh, I will go Guilt Leaf Palace. Okay. Let's just tap because I'm not going to reveal an elf. No, because I don't have one. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, as when I revealed my hand, I had three things that cost seven and one that cost six. So. Ooh. 
Oh yeah, that'll do yes. it. Um, yes. I'll I'll go <laughs> no, to my turn. No land. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. So when I got started playing, uh, mm -hmm. my friends and I did not have any earthly idea what we were doing. <laughs> we uh we didn't know what formats were. I'm gonna play oh, an ink no. off Nexus. Of course. And uh, I'm going to play a Blighted Agent. This is the Infect okay. Unblockable. And I'll okay. pass the turn. Okay. Now, we didn't we didn't know what formats were, and um, the silliness about that is that we started out, I was borrowing decks because my parents thought that Yu-Gi-Oh! was like of the devil. Or Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic and everything else was of the devil. Yu-Gi-Oh! first for me. Yep. Um, Rupture Spire, pen okay. one. Here we go. Yeah, go ahead. All right. And, uh, and so when I started getting cards, since we didn't know what formats were, I used somewhat... Oh, the top decks of glory. We got there. See, I'm not getting them. <laughs> oh, no. um, uh, I don't know if I'll last enough turns. It's fine, though, if I don't. I, it's fine. I'm going to play land. It's a Scalding Tarn. And I'm going to go to combat. I'm going to hit you for uh, one. Yep. Except... Uh -huh. Do you know what my good friend Blazing Shoal does? Uh, I can't see it, so not off the top oh, of my head. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let me see if I can uh, bring it a little closer. So, I can, it has an alternate casting cost of yeah. remove a red card from your hand, or er, from exile oh, okay, from your yeah. hand. So, like, like a force yeah. of will pitch. Uh, yeah. And then that creature, target creature, gets plus X plus O, where X is that red card's converted mana cost. Well, I have a progenitus, which is... A ten... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. Yeah, wow. so my 11-1 was... infect creature. Oh, God, yeah. Uh-huh, no, that's fine. Okay, so how about you be on the play for this next one? Sure, no, let me, uh... Oh, God. <laughs> um, so, in any, uh, in any case, uh, so my friends are all buying booster packs and trading with each other and whatnot. This is around Shards of Alara. So they're essentially playing, okay. like, block decks. And I'm over here buying cards from... I, I know some of them were Troll and Toad. I Maybe TCG Player. I don't rem know when that was got started. But websites like that. And I'm playing Legacy. I'm playing with, le like, Cabal Coffers is in my deck and Urborg to make Cabal Coffers a swamp. And silly, silly stuff like that. It had Hypnotic Spectre... Um, oh, yeah. And so I Man. I started winning, and winning, and winning, and winning, not realizing that the reason why is because my card pool was greater. And then I, I later yes. on I play against a kid who's running this blue mill deck with Scalp Alexis in it, and it wasn't even vintage legal because it had multiple ancestral recalls in it. And yep. So none of us knew what formats were. Apparently he borrowed those ancestral recalls from his dad. His dad let wow. him borrow Ancestor Recall and take it to high school to play in the cafeteria. So, <laughs> we had a silly, silly magic group there. And now that we're older, we all laugh at it. Like, what on earth were we doing? <laughs> God, oh my God. You know, the, um, the deck I remember I first started with, because I am very old school. Yeah. I was around during Unlimited. So, I'm, the, I'm there, and oh. my first deck was my brother got a bunch of magic cards and decided, I, because this is way before anything's valuable, I don't like red and green. Here you go. Oh. Yeah. That'll do it. <laughs> That's why my oh. first deck was a red and green deck. So I had, like, Shivy Dragon, and I would use Raging River, and Force of Nature, and a lot of crazy stuff. Like That's, like, my big first deck I remember. Is. Yeah. Game two. Both shuffled yes. up. Yep. Uh, would you like to be on the play? Uh, sure, why not? Three, After four. this, if we have some time, I do have another deck that is vintage, but is not this. I, I could I could try to fish around and pull out a, a slightly quicker deck. I have a couple decks that I know are much quicker, but, like, again, I just grabbed one of my uh, boxes. Fair enough. Okay. Fair enough. Mm, this might work. Ooh. I don't know. It's slightly better than the last one, but... I will ooh. keep. I will regret this, but I will keep. And uh... You know what? You know what? I'm, I'm going to take a, a mulligan on this one. I only have one color mana, uh. so that will not help me. 
So I can uh, show the camera a little bit. I can show the camera above your camera uh, what's yes. going on with my hand. So mm -hmm. that way we have asymmetric information. Yay! Yay! Woo. I mean, my, my, mine I'm just going to be like, it's a secret. Keep it safe. Yeah. It's a secret to everyone. What game was that from? I can't. I can't uh, quite remember. Legend of Zelda. It was. Oh yeah, yeah. It's the little cave you you bomb open, right? And then the the guy in there is like, it's a secret to everyone. Yes. That's right. Uh, Old Legend of Zelda. Uh, NES Legend of Zelda. For some reason, uh, I was thinking it was. Um, whatever. I don't know. Like no. fan, like Final Fantasy NES or something. I don't know. Yeah. All right, yeah. What do you say? Oh, you got a swamp out. I got a swamp out. It's a, it's a start. Okay. Anything else? Uh oh, I'm gonna kind of mute. Um... Oh. Too much, too much crying, child. Oh. No, I'm done though. Yeah. Okay. I'll draw my card. Let's see. So I'm going to start off with a mox sapphire. Because that's what you do, I guess. Uh, I would like to... Yes. Actually, we're going to play an Ink Moth Nexus as my land. Mm -hmm. Tap it. And mm -hmm. play a Blighted Agent. <laughs> Alright, so... Okay. This looks a little yep. familiar, I'm sure. Mox, Ink Moth, Blighted Agent. Uh, past yes. turn. Spoiler alert, though. Unless something crazy happens, I don't have the, the turn two kill. Uh, Swamp. Okay. Well, go ahead. Let's see how this rolls. All right. Uh, Wait for that kill spell. Wait for that Doom Blade. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> this is so stupid. Um, uh, I, I top decked it. I top decked it. Okay. I, uh, totally pure skill. Totally. 100. Uh -huh. No, yeah, no. Um, <laughs> we are going to, no, no, let's play it safe. Uh, I'm going to go uh -huh. to combat. I'm going to swing at you with the unblockable dude. I have okay. Blazing Shoal. That's actually what I top decked. I already uh -huh. had the Progenitus. So, okay. <laughs> that was just stupid luck. Do you have a kill spell? I don't have a kill spell in my hand right now. If no. you did, I have Force of Will for your day. <laughs> ah, this deck. I love this deck. I'm gonna try to make this deck a thing. I don't have there aren't like a lot of vintage tournaments outside of online, and I don't play MTGO. Don't have anything against it. I just I just don't play it. Uh, so I don't know how I could possibly make this deck big, but I am trying to make my well, yeah. dinky little homebrew a thing. The, the thing about MTG online, uh, I tried doing it, and I built my decks in there, but they don't let you play them or something, or there's a trick that I don't understand, and I'm like. What? <laughs> I just want to play with my friends. Oh, yeah. I don't want to play in any kind of ranked things. I just want to build the decks that I want to build because I own the cards in real life and then play with my friends. But no. I'm sorry, dude. I, I don't know. I, I had, like, that was my experience with uh, you know, Magic Online, unfortunately. For me, it's, yeah, I, I have the, the cards in paper. I don't have them online. And so I'm just more invested in paper magic, and getting into the online game just is... Yeah, I, I just, I can't. Now, let's see, which which deck am I going to play next? I have one, nope, I got it, I got it. It's still a vintage deck, it still feels like a vintage deck, but it's not going to be silly like that was. This, this feels more like what you're doing. I'm going to be playing mm -hmm. creatures, I'm going to be trying to... Swing more than once. <laughs> All right, so here we here we go. Let's see. Do 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 do. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. All right. And good. It's it's already shuffled a bit, so it's not in deck tech order. This, this one, fortunately, I have played since I last did major edits to it, so it is. I think I think I did. Let me just check. Yeah, yeah, it's it's shuffleable. Okay. So it doesn't take long. I don't know if it's gonna be a good shuffle, but it's a shuffle. <laughs> These are, are fresh sleeves, but they're ultra pros, which I consider playtest mm. sleeves. I I wouldn't 
They get bent and crack a little too easily for me to consider them tournament sleeves. Yeah. But they're they're fine for just doing stuff like this. This is a gauntlet. They, these are not real cards. That was obviously not a real Mox Sapphire. I say obviously. Mm. It may not have been something you could tell from your view, but if I put it right up close to the camera, you're like, oh, that's a slip of paper inside of a card. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. I actually... Yeah. Oh, go on. I was going to say, like, that's the thing is, like, I always thought about doing that for a lot of these decks because I have the full deck list that I want to have, but normally I just don't have super expensive cards, so I just... I just wait to put them in, you know? So, like, this deck is technically a work in progress! Oh. It's good It's good how it is, but there's, like, a couple of things that I'd be like, those would be nice to add in. Oh, yeah. If I get those. Yeah, I could add that in. But mm, my magic budget has gone to a couple of boxes here and there. <laughs> yes, I can afford it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I still have to budget out for uh, Ravnica at this point in time. I've uh, relatively uh, recently been able to buy back into Modern and Legacy, like the actual cards. And mm -hmm. so now that I've done that, I'm kind of waiting to, to spend a decent bit of money um, until I'm sure that I'm sure that I'm sure about what the next venture will be. Man. Like, whenever we talk about Vintage and Legacy, and like you're playing with those cards, it's like I remember because uh, my brother had a bunch of those Ooh. at one point in time. You know, so like I remember, he played with the uh, he played a deck that had the channel fireball black oh, lotus mountain combo. Oh yeah! Oh, like Taiga black lotus channel fireball. Yeah, yeah. Woo. The old combo. Ye old game winner. Yeah. All right. Now, yeah. To see who goes first, would you like to roll that die again? Sure. Let's start for the new one. Uh, I have a 16, and you have a 6. Oh, there we go. So this is strangely, like, matching. Like, it was 1 in 20 before, and then it's, like, you know, just the differences. Uh, I don't know. It's all right. When I, uh, Five, six, when I was at college, UGA, University of Georgia, and I got back into Magic, uh, over at that little podunky game store that's on the, that's on the campus, there was a guy who said that he... Ooh, this is an interesting hand who said that he was one of those, um, uh, what would you say, like, he sold, he traded a Black Lotus for a Shivan Dragon way back in the day, yeah. when he was a kid. Yikes. Big yikes. I'm sorry, I got focused on that story. What did you say the numbers were? Who won? Uh, I think I'm going, I'm, I'm making the choice. Uh, oh, okay. I'm going to, I'm going to Mall. Ah, uh, I will keep. I'm actually needing something to work out here. I'm needing another land, but we'll make it happen. We'll make it work. I I don't think I could have made that work with I had for a hand. Uh, Rip. Yeah. Uh, I had two non-basic lands in my hand ooh. that both do things that are very nice, but unfortunately require work to create any kind of color that is not going to help me at the time. I was not going to be playing anything, even though I had cheap stuff. Well, I have good news. This deck is a lot slower, so you will have time. Uh, if, you're, if your hand doesn't fail you, you will have time to do stuff. Uh, so you're talking about uh, university days. Yeah, that, that was it. The story was the, the guy who said that he traded a, a Black Lotus for a Shivan Dragon. Because, oh gosh, Shivan Dragon, it wins the game. It's huge. You know, and yeah. presumably as a kid, he was convinced. I, I wouldn't like to think something nefarious, but, you know, as a I, kid. I can play with this one. Okay. I'll go first. Uh, Woodland Cemetery. I don't have a swamp, so it comes to place Oh, to no! <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> uh-huh. Ooh. That's not going to do absolutely anything this game, but we're going to pretend mm -hmm. it's okay. I will play a Bazaar of Baghdad. This is not Dredge. I will yeah. play a Bazaar of Baghdad, and I will... Mm. You know what? We're going to do it now. <laughs> we're going to draw two cards. Mm -hmm. One, two. And then we're going to discard three, which will Ooh. be one, two, three. So I will discard... Ancient Grudge, so destroy an mm -hmm. artifact, but, you know, not there yet. Vengevine, 
So whenever mm -hmm. I cast two or more creatures on a given turn, it comes back from the yard. And Squee. Squee Goblin yeah. Nabob. Everyone's <laughs> yeah. favorite. That stupid... Build it back. Yeah. Uh, and then, I love Squee. Sorry? I love Squee. Yeah, Squee's great. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll pass the turn. Squee. Okay. So I like the art on that one. He's hugging this little... I guess it's a ball. He's hugging a ball. It's Squee's toy it's supposed to be. Oh! Uh, that makes too yes. much sense. Uh, a rupture spire and I'll pay for it. Okay. And I'll go then because I've tapped out, All of right. course. So on the upkeep, Squee comes back to hand because, to quote the flavor yes. text, some goblins are expendable, some are impossible to get rid of, but he's both at the same time. Yep. He really is. Um, I'll draw. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will play a tropical island. Ooh. And then I will use Bazaar one more time. Okay. I'll draw just two, Jay. Don't, don't mess that up. And then discard you, obviously Squee, and one other thing. And we're going to say you. Okay, so I'm discarding Wonder, so as long mm -hmm. as it's in the graveyard, my creatures, all zero of them right now, have flying. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, like Squee, <laughs> and Survival of the Fittest. Which, it, you know what that is. That's uh, a, I, it's an enchantment that says, pay green, choose and discard a creature card, search your deck for a creature card, and add it to hand. Okay, yeah. So okay, eventually yeah. I'll be discarding Squee to go get creatures, basically. That's the long story short. Yes. Um, speaking of, we're going to exile a Simeon Spirit Guide from my hand to make some green mana. And we're going to mm -hmm. use that in the Tropical Island to play Survival of the Fittest. Yay! And Hurrah. then I will pass the turn. Okay. Let's see what I draw and if it's helpful. That's not 100% helpful, but maybe we can work with this. Okay. Uh, Priest of Titania. Oh, okay. That's going to make some mana. It's for each yep. elf you control, right? Each elf in play. Each elf in play. Oh, yes. okay. So if I play any elves, that'll make mana for you. I get mana for it. Ah. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> That's good to know. Okay. We can stack these lands for now. Yeah. Uh, yes. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. You're making mana. I'm also doing things. So Squee's going to come back to hand. And I'll of draw. Course. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, you do absolutely nothing in this match, don't you, bud? I'm pretty uh, sure. I know that feeling. Uh, well, I guess I'll play a land. It is a misty rainforest. Mm -hmm. I will... I would like to... Uh, we're going to tap the Bazaar of Baghdad. Draw two. Ooh. And discard three. One... Two, three. I will discard Squee, the other mm -hmm. Ancient Grudge, and another Survival of the Fittest. Because I okay. can't have too many of those, I guess. No. Alright, Squee. You do you do your thing. Really probably should have... Yeah, I should have decked then first, actually. But, mm. oh well. What's done is done. And then I'll play everyone's favorite, Deathrite Shaman. Okay. And pass turn. And you don't have anything in your discard pile right now. No, Nothing in your grave, nope. right? Nope. Okay. That That's is... helpful. Yeah. Is Deathrite Shaman, uh, what types is it off the top of my It's head? an elf, so know. yeah, that'll make some mana. It'll make okay. some mana for cool. you. Uh, which is still quite, quite enough for what I want to do, so I'm going to oh, do wow. Rupture Spire and pay for it. Well, I have things I can play, but not really play right now in my hand that I could have afforded. Oh. Let me put it that way. Fair enough. So, wouldn't it have been helpful with, like, Deathrite Shaman and stuff. So, we're okay with that, though, for now. Alright. And then that's your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. End of turn? I'm going <laughs> to... Fetch Misty Rainforest, go to 19. I'm going to go and get out... Um, I don't know. How about... A Savannah. 
So it makes white and green. Yay! Oh, actually, what am I doing? I'm, uh, I'm shuffling, but no need to do that. I am instead going to uh, discard Containment Priest to Survival of the Fittest and go mm -hmm. and get a creature. Cool. Let's see, which one do I want? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny. I like you too, but I think we're gonna go with probably that one. That one seems all right. Yep. Okay. So it's a hollow one. I'm gonna add hollow one to my hand. Okay. Yep. Uh, yeah. What does hollow one do off the top of my head? I do not so remember. It's just a four-four with cycling two. So if I wanted to, I it's a five-five or I'd say five mana. 4-4 four, four, with cycling 2. The trick is that it costs 2 less for each card you've cycled or discarded this turn. Ah, you I see. see. You see where this is going. Yes. Yeah, we're, we're going to do some silly stuff now. Mm -hmm. um, that said, I have waited long enough. You are about to get a, a buttload of mana, so we'll see. Um, I would like to go to my turn. Is that okay? Yes. All right. Squee, please come back to hand, because you're, you're a cool dude. You're cool like that. While we're here, while we're here, I guess we'll just preemptively discard Squee uh, to Survival of the Fittest. And guess what I'm going to go get? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go get another hollow one. Yay! Cool. All right. Um, let's see, I'll draw for turn, okay. that's not what I needed, but okay, I guess, I guess that's okay, uh, I will tap Bazaar Baghdad, so I'll draw two, and I'll discard three, one, two, and a half. Oh, oh, come on. I want to do all of these things. Yep, and three. Okay, so I'm discarding anger. As long as it's in my graveyard, creatures I control have uh, haste. So it has haste, and creatures I control have haste now. Thorn of Amethyst, which doesn't do anything in the yard. It would make non-creatures mm -hmm. cost one more. And a taiga. Okay. So I'm gonna make another little pile here. Oh, right. Oh, get over there. There we go. That's more like it. Um, while I'm here, I'm just gonna do this twice. One off the tropical island and one off Deathrite Shaman. And I'll mm -hmm. exile taiga because it's convenient. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to discard. Thalia, Guardian of Thraben, and mm -hmm. Manglehorn. And I'm discarding them both to survival to go and get... No bonus points for, for guessing this one correctly. Yeah. Hollow mm -hmm. one, and... Hollow one. Alright, now, as you can see, I have discarded well more than three cards this turn. It's a... Uh, Three just from the survival and two or three from Bazaar of Baghdad. So mm -hmm. these hollow ones don't cost any mana. So I'm mm -hmm. gonna play out all four okay. hollow ones. Yep. And then I'm going to go to combat because they have haste. Yep. And I'm gonna swing sixteen at you. I'll take sixteen this turn. Okay. And then I'll pass the turn. All right, let's see if I get something good. What types are the... Uh, oh, they are ones? golems, so they don't oh, count for golems. a priest. Yep, but gotcha. you do get the one extra from Deathrite Shaman. I do, but unfortunately, like, I, that's enough right now. Uh, I might I, I might be just screwed right now. Because, uh -oh. like, 
my, my stuff I drew was just like I could play things, but they're just not good things. Is the kind of thing I drew. Oh no! Yeah, if you had a a creature kill spell, I'm just I'm in a world. I hurt. didn't draw lands, and I needed them. Oh no! <laughs> ah. mm -hmm. I might have had this, but this alone was not enough. I didn't have any other low costing elves. I didn't have this. Oh dear. So. So I see one, I two, just... three lands, and the priest taps for two. Um, That's five. So you can play stuff, but you just can't play like the impactful stuff you need to play, right? I should have had a little bit more ramp and been able to play a couple things. Okay. Yeah. See, that's why I this was a this was the slowest start I've had oh, this deck in a while. I believe you. I see the priest of Titania. Uh, I'm assuming it does a lot more ramp. Oh dear. Yeah. Um. See, like, what do you have in your graveyard? Because my big thing I can do right now is Beacon of Unrest. <laughs> oh, does that uh, reanimate something from my yard? Take a target, artifact, or creature card from a graveyard and put it in the battlefield under your control. Shuffle it into your library. So, Shuffle this into your library. Um, let's see, that's a good question. So, I normally I would say the mangle... Oh, God, you know what? Oh, no! You know what? I missed a trigger. I missed a trigger. I should have uh, cast the Vengevine last turn, too, because I, uh, I played two or more creatures, so Vengevine should have come out. And also swung, and it would have been lethal. Oh no! Yeah, so yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's like, so in this like, case, yeah, the Manglehorn would enter the battlefield and destroy an artifact, so it would kill off one of the hollow ones. But and then be able to block one, and then I'd be yeah, able to die to two. Yeah, <laughs> you know? hey, that's the thing. Unfortunately, Vengevine, why you betrayed me? Oh, it's fine. This is actually the like, no, second fine. time playing the deck, so I'm getting used to God, it. God, oh man. Yeah, no, like um. This hand wasn't bad when it looked like, but the thing is, I had the two lands, the priest, and I'm like, okay, the stuff in my hand isn't great, but if I draw a couple lands, I can really get stuff out. Yeah. And actually work with it. And it just didn't work. Let's let's try this again, ah. but like yeah. if you've got a sketchy hand, just mull it just mull it. I wanna see like I wanna see your deck do its thing. Whew. Well, I mean like <laughs> like I because I had like Elvish Promenade and or Promenade and I had Ulamog in my hand too. Oh, I see what I see where this is going. This is a uh, ceaseless hunger or infinite gyre. I'm trying to remember which one's the newer one, right? It was the older one I actually had. Oh, okay, that's infinite gyre, I think. Yes. And ceaseless uh -huh. hunger is the exile two permanents. Yes, he's the exile one permanent, but like because I have uh, things like. Uh, beacon of unrest. I can then like take things from your graveyard. That's why I want you to like annihilate something. Oh because, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I think I messed up a sleeve. Oh whatever. The chances are yes. Yeah. I messed up plenty of sleeves. <laughs> they're they're cheap for a reason. Yeah. Yeah, but they're they're playtesting sleeves. So for stuff like this, I guess it's all right. All right. Would you like? Let's. Would you like to be on the play? Uh, hmm. I think I would prefer to draw. Okay, that'll work. Fair enough. I will, in that case... Oh, that's what it is. It's a little white speck. It's just a speck on the card. I thought it was the sleeve having cracked. Ooh. There you are. Get off there. Why? That's awful hand. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, wow. Back to seven, my friend. That, on the other hand... Oh, but it doesn't have an engine. I have I have stuff. I don't have anything to really do with that stuff, though. I know that feeling. You get a hand, and you're like... Well, this hand could be just... If it's just a little better. If it's just a little better, it would be nice. Yeah. I'm gonna try it. All right. Good luck to you on that one. Yeah. Like, uh, spoiler alert, you're on a five-turn clock with this hand. I think you can do five turns, but... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not, yeah, oh, I look, I'm going to spew out a bunch of hollow ones, <laughs> thankfully. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm going to be beating myself up about that for a while. That should have been lethal. Ag. Ag. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this... This... This could work. Okay. Uh... Okay, so you're first. 
Yes, so I'm going to play everyone's favorite Black Lotus. Mm-hmm. Um... Mm-hmm. Actually... Okay. I'm not necessarily going to do the optimal thing, but I'm going mm -hmm. to play a forest, crack the black mm -hmm. lotus for green, mm -hmm. and play a venge vine. It's just a 4-3 with haste, and then hit you for 4. Alright, okay. there's your clock. Pass turn. Alright, uh... Let's start with... Did you draw? Oh, I haven't drawn. That's right. Okay, there you go. Uh, that'll make a difference, maybe. Maybe. It might... It might. Uh, so, let's just start with a forest, though. So let's see how this goes. Go oh, ahead. Okay. All right. Oh. You. You again. Um, Misty Rainforest, I'm going to swing mm -hmm. at you for four. Yep. I'm going to fetch... Mm -hmm. Let's see. Which one, which one? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh, I'm going to get a tropical island. Mm -hmm. Tropical island. Yep. And I'm going to play two one drops. I'm going to play out a death okay. right shaman again. Mm -hmm. Off the, the forest. Mm -hmm. And... A Geico Gecko <laughs> off of, it's a, a basking root walla. So little old school. It's a one one for one that also has madness zero, but that doesn't matter because I didn't discard it. And one in green gets plus two plus two till end of turn. But I can only do that once per turn. So Geico Gecko is yep. out. Past turn. One one's in vintage. Yay. Well, Squee is also a one one. No, I think about it. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna play Guiltleaf Palace, okay. uh, and I'm going to reveal an elf. I'm gonna reveal Nath the Guiltleaf. I have a Japanese Ooh, one. Ooh, very nice. Okay. Uh. All right. Okay. And I'm gonna play Demonic Tutor. Okay, go for it. Search, search your deck. Uh, I guess I will pass turn because I'm just searching right now. Sure. And I can't play anything. So I gotta figure out what's gonna be a great idea. To... Take your time. Alright. Uh. Oh. <sighs> uh, it's okay. I wanted to do something silly, but unfortunately I don't get that chance now. It's all right. Ooh, actually, hmm, that doesn't that doesn't work. The plan I had does not work. Okay. Well, never mind then. I will play a savanna, and I would like to go to combat. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, I would like to hit you with the Venge Vine and the Basking Ritwala, so I'm swinging for five. Mm hmm. And. I'm not. I can't block. Yeah, we're just going to make it five. And then I'm going to do something silly. I'm going to Deathrite Shaman eat the Misty Rainforest to make red mana. One, two, squee. Going to cast squee. Okay. <laughs> and then pass turn. I just want to cast Squee. That's that's all I want to do with my life right now. All right. I'm gonna go on the one one beat down play. Well, no, Vengevine. Vengevine makes it a little bigger than one one. Vengevine may be too much for me. Is the thing. Uh, I don't know if I have a way to like. Easily counter it because you had it out first turn. Yeah, it doesn't have that trample, have so you may be able me. to chump for a little while. 
if I search for something to chump, I don't really have anything else in my hand that I can get out to yeah. stop it. So it's not... How much do you do? You, put, you dealt me five? Five, yes. So four plus four plus five is thirteen. You've taken thirteen damage, so you're at I'm seven. At yeah. Yes. Yes. Oy. I'm still making that decision about what to get out. I got a couple of options, but yes. Well, in the meantime, that oh, go on. Might be my only plan. All right, I got that. All right, we'll since see it's what a I draw deck then. with black, we'll I didn't see know if how it, this works. Yeah, if it might have like a damnation or something. Yeah. I, I, I think I used to have something, but I couldn't find it right now, so I might have taken it out. Uh, uh, maybe. Some stuff there. Uh, the only thing, I had something, but it wasn't going to help me right now, because I have no creatures. It, the only way it would have helped me if I had creatures, is basically, you know. Yeah, I, I know that it has to be a ramp deck, because it runs Priest of Titania, but I don't know where they, they're on strike, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, my hand was a little rampy in here, but the problem is you were much, much faster, and that's the problem. Yeah, Vengevine's... Black Lotus is silly. Black Lotus is a silly magic card. The version of this that doesn't have Black Lotus is play a Deathrite Shaman turn one. Yeah, um... I'm gonna go with Grim Black backwards so I can actually play some... Well, let's see here. Okay. No, I gotta play something. I might still be dead, is the only problem. Yeah, I am representing Lethal on board from the Root Walla and the Venge Vine. <sighs> and technically Squee too, but <laughs> Squee, Squee isn't necessary for that. Uh, no, you know what? I'm not going to push this because I don't think I can... I don't have enough of it to turn around. So, you, you unfortunately, the Venge Vine got me this time. Oh, uh, Venge Vine. Venge Vine! Yes. Turn one Venge Vine got me. I, I, I was not quick enough. And that, uh, kids, is why this card right here is worth thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Yes. That is why it is so expensive. Because you can throw out something on turn one. Like, oy, like, oy. It was like, or three turn one, I, even with tutoring, I'm like, I don't have anything cheap. I either would be expensive, more than I have, or the other thing I had was mercy killing. Ooh. Because I can use it to kill your stuff and give you a bunch of elves, which gives me mana if I already have it out. Or, if I pump up something on my own, I can kill it and give myself a lot of elves, you know? Yeah. So um, it gives me options. I'm trying to think of what else like, I have right now. Yeah. I have a silly, like a, a brew of mine that's taking turns. But it's like vintage taking turns. Let's see, what else do I have over here? Um, eeny, meeny, miny, moe. There's Dredge. There's Oath. There's all this silly stuff over here. Oh, that's something I haven't had the chance to play yet. And, oh, and it has the advantage of not actually doing much against you. It's, uh, we'll it's one of those decks that's we'll so specialized time. against the regular vintage meta that it's it's not going to do much against your deck. It also gives me a chance to just try it out, though, so let me go for it if that's okay. Okay, sure. I'm going to try this one more time to see if I get an okay hand and actually, <laughs> like, and actually get something that, like, it's like, I was fast that time. I could have maybe done stuff, <laughs> but you were just so much faster. It was like, well... <laughs> Um, <laughs> what can you do? Uh, well, yeah, yeah I'm sorry, the, turn, the turn one match fine is the turn. The turn one, anything with the black lotus. There's, it's like you have to be so lucky and so set up and have the greatest hand to count. Because that's like, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna set this one down and put the other deck back up, and okay. you're good to go whenever. Whenever you're ready. Would you like to go first this time? Just to save some time? Uh, sure. Sure, why not? Let's go for uh, it. Just for fun. Yeah. That, that way I can be... You can be deciding while I'm putting these up. Okay. That'll work out. Um, a very interesting hand. 
All Very right. Interesting. That's what I like to hear. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Want, want to? What do I want to? Want to? Want to? Want to play you? I like this, and I will keep. Even though it could very well, well bite me in the butt. I'm gonna say the same. I think I'll, I'll I think I'll say. It. Uh, so I'm going first. So I'm gonna play, and since it really doesn't matter the order, will they cemetery? Okay. Wait, I don't. I don't have a one drop. So I will go. Th this is the deck that le gets the least advantage out of the next card of any deck I own. But uh, we actually mm -hmm. have to. Well, not next card because we're gonna go Arid Mesa. Mm -hmm. Fetch. I'm at nineteen. I'll be at 19. I'm mm -hmm. going to get a Volcanic Island, so it makes blue and red. Yep. And I will... Uh, where'd you go? I'm going to play a Taylor Swift Spear. Monastery Swift Spear is Taylor Swift Spear to me. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to go Black Lotus. So one Prowess Trigger. Uh -huh. Black Lotus for red. Uh-huh. We're gonna go... Lava Spike, Lava Spike, Lightning Bolt. Alright, so how much damage did you do me? Um... That's nine from those. And there's uh -huh. three more prowess triggers. So... Uh -huh. Taylor is hitting for one, two, three, four, five. Hit you for five. So I gotta have a... So six I'm at right now. <laughs> Yeah, now, that said, I, I, spoiler alert, I have run out of gas, so if, if you can do something, do it. Uh, I might be able to. I think I can now, just because I drew this. I have a Wirewood Lodge. Oh, okay. That's uh -huh. Regenerate Elf, right? No, Untap Target oh, Elf. Oh, Untap Elf, okay. Uh, so one green mana for Untap Elf. Okay, uh -huh. mana, mana, mana. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's your turn? That's my turn. Okay. Uh, swing for one. I'll take a one. And pass turn. Okay. I'll play forest, and for three, I'm going to play Imperious Perfect. I know you. Plus, plus one, one, plus one, and you can make some tokens. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's a two-two on its own, right? Yep. All right. Well, there we go. That's fun. Yep. Here we go. What are we gonna do? Okay, I'll play a Mox Ruby, and that's going to give mm -hmm. prow uh, yeah prowess to Swift Spear. So mm -hmm. she's a two three now. Mm -hmm. I would like to go to combat. Yep. Swing two. I'll take the two. I might give. Uh, I have to take the two because if I lose the perfect, I have nothing. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually why I have to say this. So I might get burned. So what's your life total now? Three, I'm probably gonna get burned. Yeah, I drew a bolt. Yeah, let's let's try that again. Uh, yes, that will, unfortunately you 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 every time you get that. And then the sort of other like, cards were Null Rod and Fire Blast. Null Rod does actual nothing against you, and Fire Blast needs another mountain, and I didn't have another mountain. So yes. there's a, there was a non-zero chance that I was just gonna like have a one-two for a little while, but if I could have if you if you had I had privileged position in my hand, oh, so you couldn't burn my creatures. That's right. They get he they get hexproof or shroud. Uh, hexproof. Oh, nice. And I got two of them in the deck, of course, so that way you could be like, well, they can protect each other too, because other permanents. And then you get a way to protect yourself. But the thing is, this deck does have life gain in it, so that's why I don't normally worry about like burn spells if I get it out. Yeah. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, so oh. let's try this again. No Black Lotus this time, please. Can we have an actual game? I mean, yes. It's, 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 when you get it, it's like, yay! But it's also like, it, it speeds it up so quick. Yeah. Okay, so I will keep this hand. This is an actual, normal, reasonable hand. This is not silly. Okay. Two, this, three, this looks four, like a real game of magic. Seven. Well, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, Fair enough. We'll see. Uh, my, uh, mm, mm, I think I think I have to take a mulligan. Ooh. 
<sighs> As my three-year-old would say, that can't be good. <laughs> it's okay. This one's back to seven. Yeah, mine, uh, mine's a little precious. I, I may be a little bit biased, as I'm contractually obligated to be, but she's just so cute. I have a whole playlist on the channel that's, uh, it's called Baby Videos, and it's exactly what it sounds like, uh, just showing off a little bit, or a lot. So the channel is mostly Magic the Gathering, and then there's a little, like, Smash Bros in there, because that's another game I play, and then Baby Videos, <laughs> so, but mostly Magic, thankfully. Otherwise, uh, I'm I would have, down. like, two subscribers. I'm dropping down a number. Aw. Uh, no, 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 it's cool, man. It's cool. You can go to seven. That was just like... I had a rupture spire. <laughs> That's oh. all the lands I had. <laughs> it's like, well, I can't play that. Now can I? No. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. This might work. Probably. Maybe. And that is seven, sure. right? That's seven. Okay, One, good, two, three, good. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think I think we can make this work. Uh, so oh, I will start though with a grim blackwater. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. I will play a bloodstain mire and not do anything. Mm -hmm. Pass the turn. Okay. Uh, ooh, I'm gonna play a forest. Okay. And tap those both, and I'm gonna play a well wisher. Uh, tap gain one life for each elf and play. Ooh, and it's a 1-1 one, one on its own, right? It is a 1-1 one, one on its own. Okay. I'm going to fetch. It is murderable. <laughs> yeah. Well, thankfully, I'm not about to murder it. Ah. Yeah, thank goodness. Going to be a little bit nicer to it. That said, it is a <laughs> life gain card against the burn deck, so... Yes. Uh, it's a target. Just a little bit. Ooh. I will... Play a Young Pyromancer. 2-1, okay. when I cast an instant or sorcery, it, it makes a 1-1. One, one. Pass turn. So we okay. might have a few 1-1s one, out. That's an interesting one. Uh, I guess land. So I have a Vault of the Archangel. Ooh, okay. Uh -huh. Could you remind me what Vault of the Archangel... That's the one that gives Death Touch lifelink, right? Yeah, to creatures of control. Yeah, yep. to, okay. Fair enough. <sighs> I don't. I can't currently produce white though. So yeah. I mean, that's what rupture spires are for. <laughs> I imagine you'll get there. Yes. <laughs> All right, and that's your turn. Yeah, go ahead. Now it is a two-one. Just... So if you need to, you can block. But uh, I'm gonna try to not give you that chance if I can help it. I understand. All right, I'm going to play a Volk. Um. I'm going to try to get that life gain card out of the way early. I'm going to bolt your Wellwisher. I'll gain a life from it. Yep, that'll work. And makes a dude. And then I will... I would like to go to combat. Okay. I'm going to swing it at you for two with the Pyromancer. Yep, I'll take two. And next, for my next trick... Let's see... Hmm. I don't know that this is going to be great against you, but I'm going to try it. I will play an Eidolon of the Great Rebel. So, from now on, as long as it's out, whenever either of us cast a spell CMC two, uh, 3 or less, it'll deal 2 damage to us. Now, I know that your okay. deck has some higher curve cards, though, so that might hurt me more than it hurts you. Uh, with the current hand, it'll hurt you more than it hurts me. I'm going to say it. Uh, pass turn. Okay. Ooh. Uh, now I'm at 19. You should be at 18, or 19 now, right? Yep. I have a Grim Backwoods. Okay. Uh, for now, though, I'm going to just play something that's not going to help me block, though, unfortunately. Parallel Lives. Ooh, we're going to start making some tokens. Oh, Parallel Lives is the... Whenever the one or more token. tokens, double the tokens that go into the battlefield. Okay, yes. okay. So it's not doubling season. It only works on tokens. Yes, it's the cheaper. <laughs> yeah, oh, I believe that. <laughs> I think I only own, like, two doubling seasons, and, like, one of them was in some kind of pre-made deck. I can't remember which one that it was in there, you know? So it's like, I can't I can't buy them on their own. <laughs> oh, dear. So I'll play another Valk. I would like to go to combat. Sure. I'm going to hit you for five. Two plus two plus one. Yep. 
Go down to 14. I am going to lava spike you twice, which means I will take four damage, but you will take six. Okay. Go down to so, eight. Puts me at 15. I get two more dudes. Deuterinos. Two more Deuterinos. Mm -hmm. Yep. And... No, that's right. And then I will pass the turn. Okay. And hope I don't get wrecked. Oh, that would be nice. But I don't think I can, I can, I can play that nicely. Mm. Well, let's... Mm -hmm. This is this is okay. This is not great, though. Uh, I voice the woods. I don't uh, remember what that does. I love its art, tap though. Five, tap five untapped elves you control. Put a 7-7 seven, seven green elemental token with trample in play. Okay, and then with parallel lives, you'll put another one out. Yes, but I don't have enough elves oh, right now. Uh, oh, dear. I don't know, and like, uh, unfortunately, I might just, I might have to, I can't, I don't know if I can not murder myself right now, so. Oh, we'll see. because of the Eidolon, right? Yes, the Eidolon, for the one thing I could play that might help, it would probably murder me. Well, there's a non-zero chance that I just won't have anything going for it, yes. so, um, I, let's, let's go. see. Let's go ahead, though. Mm-hmm. Drum roll. All right. Oh, by the way, uh, what are its stats? I can't quite make out its power. It's just a two-two. Okay. It's an expensive two-two, <laughs> so it's not really like. Unfortunately, that's the thing. Is it's an expensive yeah. two-two. I'm gonna go to combat with everybody. Nice. So these little red ones are one ones. This is a two-one. Huh. The pyromancer, and then Eidolon of the Great Revel is a two-two. Oh, God. I would like to give her the Eidolon or the Pyromancer. That would just... It's still... My hand would just... I'm going to have to block the Eidolon. Yeah, that's fair. We'll trade. At least that means you won't take damage from uh, your spells now. And then you just take five. Yep. And then Which pass turn. So I will hopefully top deck something. Here you go. I... Maybe. Maybe. And uh, I probably could have used a map. Nope. Damn it. Oh no. I can block one thing, and then I die. <laughs> oh no. I don't have. I can't play two things. I needed one. Even if I had one more mana, I wouldn't have enough, unfortunately. Ah. Uh, Damn. The uh, Eidolon didn't really screw me, but like the the swarm you were getting. Yeah. Pyromancer is. Mm -hmm. It's one of those cards that you wonder why it's not played in, in Burn more often, and the reason is because it often comes out on turn two, which is slow. Yes. Uh, but in this deck, it can come out on turn one, and when it does, silly stuff like that can happen. Oh, man, I have just not had good deck luck this day. <laughs> we can try that one more time. I'm, I'm sort of waiting to see this deck just peter out and not do anything, because that, that can happen, unfortunately. It can just dump its hand turn one, and then go, well, I hope I draw something that's not a land. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's like, I've had okay hands, but these okay hands would have probably worked in multiplayer. Yeah, oh yeah, I believe you, where there's yeah. like more time to set up. Yeah, I've had decent hands for that. But as I said, like, uh, I have very few decks that are very good single player. Like, this one I would say could, could do okay. But the problem is, it's like, I think it needs a slightly above average hand, which I haven't gotten. Oh, yeah. It feels like your hand is a, is a recipe, and it's missing some of the ingredients. Like, sometimes it'll miss some land, sometimes it'll miss some ramp, sometimes yeah. it'll miss the, the payoff cards. And it needs that, like, extra turns, which I haven't gotten against you so far. <laughs> you know, that's the thing. It, I'm it sorry. It needs that one or two. Yeah. No, it's fine. Uh... It, it's it's not like it's impossible. It's just you know, uh, yeah. I feel like you know against some of these decks, I should have had like I should have like fished out some of the other decks. So that's it. I only brought one box up with me to the computer room out yeah. of all the piles that I've got. I mean, I can keep. Uh, it's not spectacular, but I can keep. I cannot. I have one land. Oh, yeah, no. That, mm -hmm. I've seen that not work out too well for you. Yes. 
Let's I don't see. know. I've had some bad land luck too. Mm. Yeah, when the one land is rupture spire, for instance. That was the worst. I'm sorry, that was just like... It was like, you're just insulting me now. You're just insulting me now, Deck. Deck's on strike? Like, hey. mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. Maybe this next one will treat you a bit better. Three. Four. So far, no. Six. Seven. Wow! A vaulted dark angel! Oh no! <laughs> Oh. Alright, we're just gonna do this. I'm just gonna do this and hope for the best. I don't care anymore. <laughs> that can go all in the middle. Alright. Welcome to casual. It's it's alright. It's all good. Oh my god. Uh oh, I'll I'll take it. Sure, I'll screw myself. I don't care. <laughs> we'll go for one more. If this this could work if if I get a good if I get some, uh, I need like one draw. That'll oh. help me. So we'll see. Yeah. All right. Well, you're up. Okay. Uh, get leaf Palace tapped. Okay. I'm just gonna throw a lava spike at you for three, and that's it. Okay. So seventeen. Pass turn. Yep. Damn. Turn. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to uh, play a. Oh no, you don't have your land. Nope. I have a land. Well, I'm... If, if I just need a second to be able to play most of my. <laughs> Scalding turn. Uh, I'm going to mm -hmm. play out a monastery swift spear and hit you for one. Uh -huh. Yep. And pass turn. Okay. Let us see if I'm getting lucky. I am not getting lucky. Hey, look at that. Uh, I'm going to discard Ulamog, so it'll shuffle my library. Ooh, okay. Damn, it was a land. Next card would have been a land. Oh, no. Don't you just hate when that happens. Yeah. Oh, well. I may have the opposite problem as you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I mean, at least I have Ulamog, who I could be like, yeah, you go back in the while you're doing that, I'm just going to fetch the Scalding Tarn out. Yep. And... Get a Valk. Wait, 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 wait. Not a Valk. Get a mountain. There we go. Just a mountain. A regular old mountain. Regular old mountain. Sounds good. Alright. Here we go. Ooh. I guess... That's what this hand has become. I will play another Scalding Tarn. Mm -hmm. I will swing at you for one. Okay, my 15. I'm going to play out an Eidolon of the Great Rebel. And then I'll pass the turn. Oh, boy. Uh, Woodland Cemetery comes into play tapped. Yikes. Big yikes. Um, mm-hmm. Uh... Go ahead. I I might be screwed because the idol on. Uh -oh. I'm gonna say that. Uh oh. Yep. Oh, I should have yep. probably should have fetched for deck thinning. Swing for three. Yep. All right, that's it. Uh, pass turn. I'm gonna. I think Grit would like some terror also. Gonna yeah, fetch while you're doing that. Wirewood Lodge. That's good. Good. Um. How much is Eidolon deal me? Three? Uh, two, whenever you cast a, a spell CMC three or less. Yep. Priest of Titania. Okay. Just, two. Just the two, then. Yeah. And she is herself a 1-1, one, one, right? Yep, she is a 1-1. One, one. Wait, is she it is... priest plural? It is priest. It just says priest. Oh. So I played one. Okay, uh, just the it, one priest. I think, I think she's eroded to an elf shaman, if that would matter. Uh, <laughs> No, my friend. She's like a death right shaman, but yeah, no. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. And that's your turn? Yeah. Yep. All right. Come on. Hey! Black Lotus. 
Prowess trigger. Mm -hmm. Hit you for four. I've got a six. Pass turn. Uh, uh Reliquary Tower. Oh. Uh, for four. Uh, Immaculate Magistrate. It's a 2-2 two, two, tap. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature for each elf you control. Okay. Uh, fair enough, I guess. Yep. Oh, it puts the counters on it, so they'll they'll stick around. Yes. Yeah, so, like right now, I could give something plus uh, plus two plus two, like plus two two plus two plus two counters, or plus one plus one counters. Damn it! But it's a English. creature, so it's summoning sick now, right? Yep, summoning sickness. Okay. That's a two two off though, so I could technically kill the eye along with it if I really wanted to. That's true. All right. Unless pass. you burned it away, don't nothing this. Go, go ahead. Okay. Mm hmm I guess, yeah, if you wanted to trade, that that would do it. Combat? Yep. Okay. I'm going to trade the Eidolon. That's fair enough. All right. Mm hmm So I take one to five. Play an Eidolon. Uh, <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. sorry. I'll pass the okay. turn. Uh, what do I get? Uh, that's not bad. Uh... If it's enough mana, you don't have to worry about Eidolon anymore. Now that you have it. Mm-hmm. It's a bunch of mana, which is not bad, but it's not enough mana. Um. Hmm. <sighs> I can't really take damage right now. So, limits my options so much. So let's just do... Hmm. I'll take damage regardless. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't. So let's just... Let's go this route. Why not? Uh, okay. Three. Uh, Imperius Perfect. Okay. And then you take two and go yeah. three. Two. Uh, one. I'm going to go to one. Oh, no. For, for Jagascar Archer. <laughs> I, I can't quite see Archer. Uh, its power and toughness is equal to the number of elves you control, and I can tap to deal damage equal to its power to target creature with flying. Okay. That's fair right enough, now, I guess. It's a three, three. Yes. Yep, the Eidolon screwed oh. because I had cheap hands. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> no, that's... Yep. This turn? It's my... Yep, go ahead. The one time I had the hand of really cheap stuff. I'm going to go to combat. Yep. Swing at you for three. There's a 1-2 uh, and a 2-2. Two, two. A 1-2. I'll block the 1-2 with the perfect and the 2-2 two, two with the jagged star, which is a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. So they both will die. These both will die. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then I will play a pyrostatic pillar. It's Eidolon, mm -hmm. but it's not a creature. It's the same thing as Eidolon, though. So, um, it's an enchantment. It says whenever a player plays a CMC three or less, they take two. So from now on, you can't cast any more CMC three or less stuff. Oh yeah. And then that's turn. Okay. All right. That's actually helpful. Um. So, how do I want to go about? Um, four minutes here. Oh, I have Wyvood Lodge. That's true. Oh, nice. I have to remember this because I can. Gonna make yes. all of the mana? I can make all the mana. Okay, so I'm gonna tap one. Okay, I'm gonna tap for the Alpha 3. Yes. Tap one. Untap her. So I've got three mana right now. Uh, four, five. Uh, I'm going to use one of that to create a one, one elf token with him. And that's now a two, use... two from the plus one, plus one. Oh, yeah, so each of that's a two, two here. And I'm sorry, yeah, it's actually bigger. This was actually a... 
I'm an Elvish Promenade. Okay. So I get another four uh, elf tokens. Elvish five. Promenade is four mana? Four mana, yeah. Put a 1-1 one, one green elf token to play for each uh, elf you have. Very good. Then I'm going to pass one for five, six, seven, eight. Four of it's going to be Nalmage Shepherd. I can't see that. I'm afraid it's going off the screen a little bit. I'm oh, sorry. Nalmage Shepherd. Tap four untapped creatures you control. Destroy target artifact enchantment. Okay, so you can destroy the Pyrostatic Pillar. Because it, it doesn't tap. It taps other things. So yeah. I'm going to tap four of these guys here. It's gone. Yep, and it's gone. And I'm going to use then uh, the remainder of that mana to play Rings of Bright Earth. Uh, whenever you play an Ooh. activated ability, if it isn't a mana ability, you may make two and copy it. Am I just dead next turn if I can't find something? Uh, maybe. So I have one, two, three, four, five, uh, plus four, nine. So it's a 10 10, take 10 damage from the Jagged Star Archers. Okay, I'm. I better find something or I'm dead. Yeah, I mean, I'm a... <laughs> so it's not impossible that you could top deck something to bring me to do. <sighs> uh. Good game. Okay. Whew. Man. Yeah. That'll do it. There you go, Brett. That I see was, what that happens was when I it did. sets up. Yes. It's when I could get, like, just a little bit there, it is all it needs. Because then I could create multiple tokens in a turn, and, you know... Yeah. I do like that Imperious Perfect, once it's already come out, you don't need to cast the elves anymore, it just makes them through an ability. Yeah. And I had one half of my favorite combo in this deck, the Infinite Elves. Okay, I, I assume Rings of Bright Hearth is part of it. Nope. No. I have Midnight Guard. Whenever oh! Your creature, oh and creature presence of Gond. Presence of Gond, yes. Midnight Guard. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love that as a... Popper Splinter Twin. <laughs> yeah, just like, I create an elf, it untaps. I create an elf, it yep. untaps. Whew. That's a, that's a fun deck. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Uh, that, that that was, you know, <laughs> that was the thing. That was so close. Like, all my, it was all my cheap stuff, which was good, but... <laughs> <laughs> Got down to one. <laughs> Oh my god! I had to, I had to go for it because I'm like, look, if if I if I block and get rid of stuff and play creatures that way, it's not going to do a lot. I could have I could have uh, ring um, promenades right away, but I'm like, I'll go for the I'll go for the for the luck. <laughs> you got there. It worked. It paid off. All right, yes. man. We should do this again sometime. Uh, I hate Definitely. to say though, I've got work in the morning, so I may have to call it quits now. If that's okay. Oh no, that's that's perfectly fine. Uh, we can try playing, you know, some more ourselves. You know, if we ever wanted to, we probably grab some folks and like uh, get like some multiplayer games. Like, oh, that'd be sick. That would be so cool. Oh. Yeah. All right. I, I may need a bigger map for, if, especially if we do EDH, because Heliod yeah. likes to. Likes to fill up everything over here. It, it's super pillow fort. Heliod is pillow fort the commander. Yes. Oh man. Uh, I'll have to break out my, my all my commander decks are. Uh, I have to say are are ones that are based on the ones that Magic put out. Oh, I okay. took them and I edited them heavily. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Like I do. I do. Ha I do like uh, Kalicia, her deck from the original commander. Oh. I, okay. I, it's like maybe only like a, like thirty three percent of the original cards now, but the idea of Angel Demons Dragons I liked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so spam like turn four Iona or something. It's like, well, okay, what can, what are we gonna do? Yes, There's, it's little things like that. I mean, that's uh... yeah, she's she's good. She's real yeah, angels, yeah. demons, and dragons. <laughs> It's just such a weird thing. Well, then I combine it with reconnaissance, so I can have her attack, put out an angel, demon, or dragon, and then have all both combat. Oh, so I don't have to worry about it. Okay. Or just her removed from combat and have that thing coming at you, so I can play them that way. And if you if if it would be kind of like a get it killed kind of thing, I don't have to worry about that. Ta da! <laughs> That's why I love reconnaissance too. So you're just like, oh, I, I didn't actually want to do that. You know, I, I, <laughs> hey man. All right. uh, well, thanks. Thanks for playing. I appreciate it. Sure, Matt. Yeah, you no, man. There's a fist yes. bump coming your way. Boom. Uh, there we wait. go.
Boom. I got hey, it. Hey, <laughs> we got there. Uh, all right. You enjoy your evening, man. All right. Take you care. Too.